This is exercise 34, 5a, Scaling Objects in Three Dimensions. I'm in the 3D Scale drawing file in the Steps Lesson 34 folder. I will turn my UCS icon off for purposes of our exercise. Now, you can begin the 3D Scale command by typing it, or you can simply type 3s. Those are my hotkeys. Select the cylinder. Now AutoCAD is asking me to specify a base point. I will use 000, 000 as my base point. Notice that I have a scale gizmo and that it has now moved to the 000, 000 coordinate. I'm going to scale along the z-axis, so I will pick the z-axis and I'm going to scale it to about three-quarters size like so. Nothing to it. Okay, let's undo that change. And we're going to pick the front face of the cube. I want to work just with an elevation of this object. Okay, I'm going to use the wireframe visual style for this next part of the exercise because it makes it go a little bit smoother. Without entering a command, I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to use a crossing window to select all the middle faces of my cylinder. All right now I'm going to change my, well I'll tell you what, first let's change to a top view. I'm going to right click on the gizmo and tell it that I want my scale gizmo and then I'm going to relocate it to the center of my object. Then I'm going to select in this area and I'm going to pull in, scale my selected objects in till they're about half the size that they were, like so. Clear my grips, reset to a conceptual viewpoint, to a conceptual visual style. Look at our object in three dimensions. Let's make that a realistic. Realistic is so much prettier. Okay, now let's go ahead and select our object and give it a smoothness property, a smoothness level of about two. Okay, clear our grips. What do you think? That looks pretty neat, don't you think? Okay, you can save your drawing and we'll move on to something else.